Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in this world. Welcome to another coaching session. I'm Paul R. Atkinson, and uh, Vanessa is here with Agent Locator, and we're so delighted to provide you with these programs. Hi, Vanessa. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Paul. Doing really well. How about you? Wonderful. I was talking to one of uh, one of your colleagues uh, two days ago, and they gave rave reviews of how we we're able to put these things together, and I'm inspired. I'm <laughs> so happy that. Yeah, while we're waiting, uh, I still see that uh, people are getting settled. As usual, I'll go ahead and start uh, the video so we can have something to entertain us while we wait. So take a look and we'll get started in five minutes. Tell more about this book, The Five Steps of the Sale. Let's hear it from Paul Atkinson. Good morning, everyone. It's still morning. Tell us more about this book, The Five Steps of the Sale. Let's hear it from Paul Atkinson. Good morning, everyone. It's still morning. Yes, today I'm delighted to be here. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. It's a nice day. Pleasant. I'm Paul Atkinson, and I'm the author of the book, The Five Steps of the Sale. And a brief introduction to the book is, how many of us here can ask ourselves and say, we all make presentations? Do you agree that we all make presentations? Do you, you make presentations? Do you feel like you make a presentation? Yes. And you? Yes. We all make presentations. Five Steps of the Sale is a book that is written about my story on how I became a salesperson back in 1993, and I started to fail. I couldn't get any anyone to join the Navy. I was sucking. And I, I was an electrician by trade, and I said to myself, there must be a way to get people to be influenced and persuaded in my presentations. So, hence the five steps of the sale. And it's a systematic approach of how you present your product on your service. Step one is conversation. Step two is curiosity. Step three is conviction. Step four is desire. And then step five is both. So when I learned that and started to use it, I became the top person in every field. So I started to present very well in the United States Navy, selling the Navy. I moved on to sell cars. I did good. I sold computers. I did good. I had presentations of life insurance and all of that and real estate brokerage. So if you feel that you're wanting to get a systematic approach to how you give a presentation, then this book would be for you. So all of the viewers there online, we want you to go to Google and just put in the name. All right. We're not here to promote anything. Welcome, everyone. We just wanted to give you a little bit of understanding of who you're dealing with and what we're talking about. I am an assistant helping here, Harriet. Notes, blah, 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 for the medium. Okay. So let's just set the stage. Welcome, everyone. Benisa, thank you so much. Uh, mic check, mic check, visual check, visual check. Can everyone hear me? Okay. You can speak in the chat. Just say yes, 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 yes. If you could hear me. Go in the chat and say yes, and I'll see it. Uh, can you also see me? Visual. Okay. Thank you. Good, good, good. Visual is good. Vanessa, uh, will you be assisting me today as far as keeping track? As always. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I cannot do two things at once. I have to focus all the time. And I love of course. It. So <clears throat> I'm going to let Vanessa pay attention to the chat and what you're about to discover today is how to deal with these uh, leads that you get in your CRM. Hopefully you have an agent located CRM because I do. I love it. It's phenomenal. What happens when we get these leads that say, I don't know, um, uh, I, you know, it says it's not very. Can you be clear? Okay. All right. So I'll speak up a little louder and turn up your mic or whatever it is, put on your headphones. Thank you for that feedback. What do you do when you get these leads that said, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm not sure yet. How do you handle that? What do you do? How do we define these leads? So today is what we're going to talk about. And 
That's what we're going to talk about. And it should take approximately, I would say, 45 minutes. It may take 60 minutes because we're going to do role playing. We're going to give you the opportunity to come up here on stage and to role play any single thing that you're experiencing in your business today that has to do with you converting the leads. You'll have that opportunity to speak. Not only speak, but you. I will give you the live demonstration on how to handle that. So it'd be impromptu. Can you imagine? Somebody's here today to role play with you on anything. Doesn't matter. And you're going to see how to solve it. Isn't that wonderful? So stay tuned. So now, uh, Benisa, we're going to need to round up at least mm, five volunteers, I think is what we're going to need. Five. As we move forward, let's look at the slides. Everyone can see the slides okay. You Now you see it says time to grow. Is that right? Can someone say yes? You, you're seeing the slides, so I know that the presentation is good. Slide is okay. Anyone can tell me yes, 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 yes. Okay, on my end, but let's just wait for someone to confirm in the chat as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, all right, cool. We're good to go. I'm no longer going to be paying attention to the chat. However, Benisa, you will. And feel free to stop me at any time if you feel it necessary to answer a question or to address something. I'm delighted. So <clears throat> everyone has asked here today, how do we deal with this? And in objections. It's impossible to make a, a lead move if they aren't ready. But what's the best way to deal with those folks that say, I think, think, I don't think I'm ready yet. What if they say that to you? Well, you know, I don't think I'm ready yet. How do you deal with that? We're going to show you just how to do that today. And it's a whole process of understanding. You're not here today just to get some little old um, script that you're just going to handle this objection. It's not the way it works. That is not the way it works. You have to develop a skill set on how to handle this. It won't just take a script because you're not a robot. And the human beings that you're talking to are not a robot. They're live breathing organisms and you have to deal with them in their own personality. And everybody is different. So you really have to understand how to handle that. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that today. So it's wonderful. Over the next 60 minutes, what we're gonna discover, okay, you will find your best assets to move clients forward when you're at your worst. Can you imagine that? When you feel your worst or when you feel like you're not even able to deliver, you will be able to find your best assets. We're gonna do that today. You're gonna to also learn what's the best way how to deal with someone that says, I'm not ready yet. A lead that says, I'm not ready. Buy or sell, it doesn't matter. You're going to learn why you must know how to handle objections. And obviously, you're going to see what currently we're doing by doing some role playing. So this will be a live testimony for you. It will win your heart. It will win your mind. It will win your body and your soul because we're going to teach you something. You're going to get a fast track on how to deal with these things by seeing us role play. And we're going to bring it all together. And then for those of you at the end, we're going to provide you with a gift for you to be able to move forward. I always like to give a gift. There's no obligation here to do anything with us at Successful Business Academy. Uh, we are here to help you to learn more about using the leads that you're getting from Agent Locator. Now, someone says to you, I don't think I'm ready yet. What are we going to do? Oh, boy. All right. Don't worry. We're going to show you. But before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself so you understand who I am and where I'm coming from and where my heart is. How did I discover that influencing a lead on the phone in 60 seconds is possible? How did I discover that? Well, this is me right here. I'm Paul Atkinson. And this right here means that I was a second-class petty officer inside the United States Navy. And this right here is what they call a gold wreath. And you see this guy here, his name is Bob. Bob was my supervisor. And he, as you can see, has more than me, right? But however, we both have the gold reef because we were champions 
every year we were getting the award of top recruiter of the nation or whatever in the region that we were dealing with. And that was in New Jersey. So how did I discover that influencing and persuading a client to move forward is easy? I'm going to show you just how to do that. It was because of me having to learn how to become a very good convincer. Now, I'm the author of the book, The Five Steps of the Sale. My name is Paul R. Atkinson, and you're able to get your camera out and get this QR code and learn more. So what I'm about to show you is a systematic way for you to become a top selling salesperson in your organization, in your field, in your business. What I'm about to show you is a proven system that I've used to deploy my ability to convince prospects inside of the United States, Navy recruiting system, uh, selling computers, selling cars, selling life insurance, and selling real estate. As a matter of fact, my first book is called The Art and Science of the Real Estate Agent Day One Close the Deal. The very first day I got my real estate license in 2003, I was able to close my first deal. It's phenomenal. I don't hear many people who are capable of doing that. What could have caused me to be able to do that? It's simple in my mind is because I had the heart. I had the drive to make sure that I use my techniques that I learned for many decades. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. And we're going to practice how to do that. So why do you need to influence the prospect on the phone and persuade them and even seduce them? To move forward because you want to grow your business because you want to get more closings you want to convert the leads into moving forward and taking the next step like talking to the lender getting pre-qualified by disclosing to you and showing you their proof of funds of one million dollars in the bank that they're going to pay cash for the property whatever you need to move them forward that is why you need to know how to influence persuade and seduce a client you need to also build strong relationships. You need to be able to get consistent weekly referrals. So when you connect with someone and you're able to use your skill set in the way that I'm about to show you, you will be able to generate more and more conversions inside of your CRM system and inside of your business. You'll be able to become known as the best realtor in that marketplace or that best salesperson if you follow what we're about to show you. There are some facts about our struggle, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is what you should know. Why, and just ask yourself, why as a salesperson, you know, why do we, why do we fail so much? What, what is it that, what are we missing? This guy, Steve Martin, Harvard Business Review, he wrote an article, and it says the seven reasons why salespeople don't close the deal. Listen to this. They are not trusted by the prospects. What does that mean? How in the world can you get somebody to trust you on a phone call when you're calling the lead? Hello, hi, uh, yes, you, you're on my website. <laughs> how, how do you get somebody to trust you? I'm gonna show you how to do that. There's techniques, there's a way to do that. They can't converse effectively. You can't talk. You don't know how to communicate. That's what they're saying about us. I'm gonna show you how to communicate effectively, how to use powerful questions to lure your prospect, how to make your prospect curious to hear your proposal. I'm gonna show you how to do that. They say that we can't clearly explain how our solution helps them as a buyer or as a seller. I'm gonna show you just how to get past that. They say that we're too self-centered. Well, I can't show you how to be so unself, you know. I can't show you this part. You have to think about it. Are you self-centered? Are you cocky? What's your personality type? You need to slow your roll and just understand that your perception becomes one's own reality. So how someone sees you, your persona, guess what? They're defining you. And you need to understand that's part of your selling technique. It's part of your selling system. You could actually walk into a room and seduce the whole audience because you are devonier. You carry yourself a certain way. People just look at you 
And they're like, oh my gosh, well, can you sell my house? Living testimony. I'll tell you a living testimony. Yesterday, I went to show a client. And I walked into the lobby of the condo building with the client. And there were two ladies talking. I'm going to stop the screen for a minute. I'll come back. Up. There was two ladies talking. And they happened to see us coming. It's a living testimony. It's not a lie. It's true. And I asked them, which way to so-and-so? And I had on my little real estate T-shirt. It says realtor. And I had a little something in my hands. And she recognized I'm a realtor. And she said to me, um, it's over that way. And they said, hey, are you a realtor? I'm about to walk away. I said, yes, I am. Here's my card. And guess what? Last evening, that same lady called me. I got a listing appointment this evening. She referred me to somebody else. Isn't that interesting? Perception becomes one's own reality. So you really need to understand that these things are needed. So right here, you have to be able to make sure that you're not self-centered. You're carrying your way in a certain way. They say that we use the wrong closing strategy. Do you even know how to close? On, on a phone call with a client, we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna to role play. How do you take that initial conversation from being able to like you, listen to you, trust you, and believe in you, to say, okay, yes, uh, can you get me a pre-approval with your lender? Um, yes. Uh, let me let me email you right now. Here's my proof of funds. I'm going to block out the account number, but I have $500,000 right now in my bank account, ready to make the offer. I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to see property. Can you do that? Yes, you can. There's a way to do that. They say that we don't alleviate the risk of buying your solution. So we actually don't actually get to touch on the person's want, need, or their DBM. And I'm going to talk to you about that as well. They say that we can't establish a personal connection. Are you serious? Are you, you, this is Harvard Business Review. Go check it out. It's real and it's there. So these are the trends and these, this is where we are. So take stock of where you are right now. On a scale of one to 10 and 10 being the most effective, I want you right now in the chat to rate yourself. If you're able to say, okay, one is the least effective on your ability to convert a lead on the phone to make a connection with someone and get them to move forward. That is the least effective. And then 10 is the highest effective. In the chat, would you please go ahead and kind of put your rating? Go ahead. While we are waiting, Benisa, let's keep an eye on there. And we're kind of looking to see right now. Okay, I got a five from Chris. Woohoo! Thank you, Chris. Are you going to be a volunteer? Because, you know, we need you. Chris is halfway. That's beautiful. Come on. This is an interactive course. I got an eight. Gail, an eight. Please put your uh, rates below. Ratings below. Okay. Yeah, we got an eight. We got an eight. Gabe. Oh, my gosh. Look at these. So all these people that are eights and fives and whatever you are in the chat, I would love for you to come and help us to be able to convert the leads today. This is something for us to share Share what you know. There's so many people here. This is a fraction. You that have answered are just a fraction of what represents our audience today. So I remember we need the volunteers. Thank you very much for your participation. Let's continue on. So we've got the ratings. You know, people are saying they're five, they're eight and all that. That's wonderful. You're currently very high or you're mid-range. And that's important to know. What are the proven techniques of when you get on the phone and we're going to get into role play in just a minute. But before we get into role, play, role play, let us show you a proven technique that has works, worked for me for the more than 30 years, three decades. I've used it for many, many things. When you get your lead uh, in your CRM or on the phone or whatever, tech, even text message, the first thing you need to do is not ask them, oh, how many bedrooms do you need? What do you want to do? Uh -uh. You need to make a connection. And preferably, let's just create this scenario. You're going to be talking to these people. And that's really what this is all about. You're going to be on the phone and talking to the lead more than likely. So step one, there are five unique steps that you need to achieve 
in the system that is called the five steps of the sale. Step one is conversation. And this is where you put your prospects at ease and get them to like you, listen to you, trust you, and believe in you. There are many, there are few techniques in order for you to do that. You get connected with them and you're going to, I'm going to demonstrate with you live how you're able to do that. And some of these other folks that are here like Gail and uh, some of the names that I saw there, they, they're probably able to do that effectively. And if they do come up and make this uh, presentation today and help with the presentation, you're going to see that. So step one is conversation. Step two is curiosity. But what is that? What we're asking you to do is get your prospect curious. And how you get them curious is by discovering, after you get them to like you, listen to you, trust you, and believe in you, you're going to find out what they're wanting, what their need is, and what their DBM is. DBM is dominant by motive. It's an emotion. It's basically you're saying, hey, once I get you this and that and this, how would that make you feel? And you discover that. And the point of you asking them that, it makes it a powerful question. And a powerful question allows them to recognize that you are someone of authority and you, you're someone that cares about them and cares about their success. So it's psychologically very rewarding for them to have that. Once you've established that in step one and you move to step two and you make them curious, you basically state to them that you know what they're wanting, needing, and their DBM, and you have it for them, and you raise your energy and say, I've got it, oh my gosh, I've got it. Now, when you've got their attention and they have these big ears listening to you, right? This is the big ears right here, smiley face. They're like listening. They have the big ears up. You're gonna go ahead and step three, make your presentation. And it has to be a presentation that would adapt to their learning style. They're either audio, visual, or kinetic, and you have to make sure that they are able to comprehend what you're saying to them so you have your visual aids. Now, in this point, we're talking about presenting a property. So when you're doing the presentation of the property, of course, they're the one that chose the property and they see what they want to see, but you have to carry yourself well because perception becomes one one's own reality. Did you need to know all about the entire house? What kind of plumbing, piping, countertops, roof? No, you don't. The product knowledge is very little, but your attitude and your ability to have a skill set on how to answer their questions and moving forward is impeccable. And that's what the presentation is all about. And then inside the presentation, when you're showing the property, you definitely should be asking them, hey, listen, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? What do you think? What do you feel? Because it's a trial close. And then you would move on from there to closing the deal. And you would bypass the objections. There's no objections when you've done one, two, and three very impeccably. So you might feel right now that this is kind of complicated and it looks like Paul is a scientist. Don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid. This is just a systematic approach that we have made it very easy to learn and understand. You can go and find any other system out there that appeals to you. But the point is this, when you want to get a prospect on the phone to be converted and you want to like 99% of the people that you talk to and engage with, they get converted. If you want that, then you really need to focus on your skill set in sales and your attitude and mindset in the business. Very important. So now we're going to role play. They say the proof is in the pudding. Now that I have your attention, I want you to give me an audience. Bring someone up here that wants to do the role play and you are going to be the client. And I'm going to call you. And I'm going to show you how to make that connection. And as a matter of fact, no matter what I do on this phone call, I want you to say to me, I don't think I'm ready yet. Because that is why we're here. Whosoever is coming up to the stage right now, that is why we're here. We're here to learn how to deal with a client that says, 
man, I don't think I'm ready yet. How do you deal with that? That's important. So, Benisa, I am ready whenever you guys are. Who's coming up? I am ready as well, just waiting for some volunteers. We don't have any volunteers yet? No, Okay. nobody Oh, I'm was out of attending. here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Gabe is ready. <laughs> Okay, let's cool. bring Gabe on. Hey, Gabe, how are you, buddy? Good to see you again. I think I remember your name. Yes, I remember Gabe. How you doing, Paul? Good, buddy. Pleasure to see you again, as usual. Yeah, I'm going to do my very best role play here. Uh, ran a little late uh, on a Costco run because the wife is with me. No problem. So, uh, terrible uh, idea to bring her along, but that's okay. That's Happy all I'm right. able to make it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'm, uh, I'm ready for either or roles. Uh, I do enjoy these. I find it really helps uh, my development. So, uh, if you prefer for me to be the agent or the... Uh, Or the client, you let me know. All right, Gabe, you're amazing. And I think it would be wonderful to give you the opportunity to do so. And you would score, you would rate yourself at an eight. So let's do that. Let's both do it. And let's give both versions. So you go first as the agent and I will be the buyer. Right? So Okay. now, wait, wait, let's, let's just get a poll on this. Benisa, when, when you ask us to speak about this today, Where where did you get this question from? I you know where where does objection come from? Is it from some of your audience, some of your users of the at agent locator that are dealing with the buyers or the sellers? What should we what role should we play first? Uh, I would go with buyers, honestly, as I feel like most of our clients are focused on buyer leads, mostly because of the price. But yeah, still, it's the majority of them. So if the audience right here agrees, I would go with the buyer version rather than a seller. All right, cool. Let's do that. So, Gabe, you go first Yes, sir. as Gabe, the best realtor in town. I am the buyer. Somehow I was on your agent locator website and you are engaging with me. I didn't, maybe I should, I didn't even say that I'm interested in the property. You just notice I'm browsing around and, and you're going to call. Now, there are some things to be real with and let's be real about this because, Gabe, uh, you should be seeing a whiteboard right now. Are you? No. Am I seeing a whiteboard? Yeah, Uh, do everybody. you want me to put on my camera? Here, one second. Sorry, just No, bear no, with no, me. no, 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 no. What I'm saying is we need to put, we need to show you something. And I want to make sure that I could write on a board. Um, and my, okay, I think I've got it. Okay. Yes, you got it, Paul. I got it? Okay, cool. So my name is um, Paul. Okay, here we go. It's loading. It was taking a little while. I apologize. All right, here we go. Text. This is my name. Gabe, are you seeing the lead? The lead name is Paul. Okay. I just see 91 by 20, 96 by 20, some sort of text box happening. Uh, maybe it's And a line. anybody else see anything yet? The the name that I'm writing. I see the name now. It wasn't loading fully. But now it's loaded. It says Paul Ricardo. Yes, the first one. No, unfortunately, I don't see it. But you tell me your name and tell me what you're looking for, and then we can role play. It's All okay. right. I don't need to see it. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So <clears throat> my name is Paul Ricardo and Okay. uh, I see a box in the line. Okay. And uh, I'm calling from 954-461-1786. And my email is Paul Atkinson uh, at PRA. Oh, yes, Benisa, you could do that for me. Try to do that. Um, Paul Atkinson, 521 at gmail.com. So, Gabe, you can ring me, and uh, Benisa is going to try to work Have on you ha have you looked at any uh, properties? I'm not. We're not role playing right now. I'm just asking. Have you? Are we going with the role play to assume that you've already looked at a couple of properties on my site, or wh Yeah. what have you done so far? I've looked on your site. I've looked at about 15 properties. Nice. And, Okay. yeah, and uh, I've just been browsing around. I have a good number, good email, and What uh, what kind of properties did you look at? Just like sure. range wise. Yeah, Freeholds, I've, condos, three I was, bedrooms, four bedrooms. I've been looking at a single family home Okay. and the price range I'm hovering around 900 to 1.2 million is the range I've been looking at. Single family, 900 to 1.2 million. Okay. Uh, and uh, what, because uh, usually we have addresses and with the addresses, I always check the neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, so 
we'll just we'll just make up i'll just give you neighborhood names here in toronto just to kind of make it a little bit more real right and uh and just roll with them just say yes that's the neighborhood i'm looking and i guess i mean, I don't know how well you know the toronto neighborhood that's what i'm saying yeah that's good yeah that's very good. okay Go for it. Go perfect for it. So you need to build a report and remember now gabe i'm going to be objecting no matter what you say i'm going to be no problem you. okay all right go ahead all right, all right here we go here we go. Congratulations. We have Gabe on the floor. Go. Go for it. So All right. I'm going to say ring, that. ring, ring. Hello. This is Paul. Hey, Paul. It's Gabe. How's your day going? Uh, pretty good. Gabe, who, uh, who is this? What, Gabe with what? What is this about? Uh, this is Gabe. I uh, I wanted to reach out to you. I uh, I got a notification on my uh, on my phone here. Uh, are you actively looking for a uh, single family detached home in the uh, Lee side area here in Toronto? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, I am. Actually. Perfect. Uh -huh. Well, believe it or not, I'm actually just uh, in the neighboring uh, neighborhood right beside it in Davisville. And I thought I'd give you a call and thank you for registering on my site. Uh, I see you've been pretty active. Uh, are you looking to make a move uh, within the next year? Well, yeah, I'm not really sure yet. You know, I'm just, uh, okay. looking, around, just looking around. No problem. No problem. And what would uh, and what is it that's uh, that needs to happen for you to uh, to make a decision this year, do you think? Well, I am trying to figure out what exactly it is that I'm going to do. I have a property that I need to sell. Um, and I'm thinking about downsizing because my daughter is getting ready to go to university. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I might go into a condo or, or another thing. I don't know. I mean, or I might even keep the current house and Airbnb it. Just, just not sure. Yet. No, yeah. It looks like you got a lot of options over there. I mean, I could totally understand where you're coming from. I got a little guy myself, and uh, and when the time comes, do I want to downsize or not? It's uh, it's hard to say. But uh, all I could tell you is the market's definitely uh, still a buyer's market. Um, are you keeping up with uh, what's going on with the Bank of Canada rates? No, no, no I didn't even think about. It. I didn't look at that. No. Okay, well, uh, they did hold the rates last time, which is which is not the you know worst news, but uh, nothing really much has changed in the last while, and. Uh, the market is kind of stagnant, so we are seeing multiple offers on some of the properties that show really well. Um, what I could do for you, actually, is if you have a particular neighborhood in mind, what I always like to see is what the solds have gone for in the last 30 to 60 days to give you an idea as to where the current fair market values are, just to give you a better perspective as to you know when you were to find that perfect property, how much would it uh, be actually selling for? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What did Beautiful. You say again? What's your name again? I beg your pardon? What did you say your name was again? I'm sorry. It's Gabe. Gabe, yeah. and um, my company is at Remax Experts. Uh, what I could do for you is I'll send you a message after we're done with uh, my Google business page. You'll see my, uh, you'll see all the feedbacks I've been received and reviews. And uh, what I'll do for you is actually I'll make you a custom search. It sounds like maybe uh, the first step would be to maybe explore uh, what prices are and what products are out there for you to downsize. If you don't like what you see, you know, we, we could always, uh, you know, pivot and change it up for you and maybe start looking at condos if you think of maybe keeping your property and uh, if you are planning on uh, not selling your property and uh, getting it uh, airbnb then uh, what we can do is uh, if you are going to move to a condo and keep that property then uh, we'll uh, do a tandem search so we'll have two searches going side by side and uh, and then i'll help uh, guide you based on what those condo fair market values should be also and uh, we'll see what makes more sense for you Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate you calling and everything. And yeah, I have a lot to decide. Uh, For sure. You. No, 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 no worries at all. I really appreciate your time today. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my last question is, uh, are you uh, are you familiar with the uh, neighborhoods of Toronto? Like, have you lived in Toronto before? Yeah, yeah. I've been in Toronto for about eight years now. So uh, Eight years. Wow. Okay. So I'm Very good. Right around here. Yeah, I'm from Jamaica, so I like all the activities nice. here in the Toronto area. I love Jamaica. I went there three times. Went there after my wedding. Uh, best food, love jerk chicken, ginger beer. It's uh, I think it's one of the best cuisines. So, uh, uh, yeah, no, it's it. That's great. Well, listen, I don't need to take up too much of your time. I know we just kind of got to know each other. Uh, let me set you up on this custom search for the Lee Side area. See how things are looking, and if it's okay with you, can I check back with you in maybe about three days? Yeah, of course, Gabe. Of course. Perfect. Of course. Pleasure, pleasure. Very good. Thank well, you. listen, thanks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too. You too. Take care. Right. Bye bye. Everybody give Gabe a round of applause. Yay!
<laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's so awesome. Let's get some feedback and then I will get a chance to go ahead and do it so you'll have something that you could see. Uh, let's get some feedback and some kind of like, uh, um, like a feedback to Gabe, you know, like let's identify some of the key things that he did when it comes to you dealing with a prospect. And I'll show the wheel on the, on the screen again, right? Do you think that you saw where Gabe was using step one and making a connection? Uh, towards the end of his conversation, you know, he, the guy says, yeah, I'm from Jamaica. And Gabe really picked up on that and said, oh my gosh, he associated. Oh, I like the ginger beer. I went there, this, I went there, that. That, those are the things, my friends and family, that you need to be doing. You got to build a connection with the people. Very important. And you see, also, go sorry ahead. for interrupting you, Paul. Just wanted to mention that I also picked up on the fact when you mentioned about your daughter, he associated with that as well, saying that he has a kid himself. Mm -hmm. That's so true. So he used the association technique, right? You have three techniques that you could use in order to make a connection with someone in 60 seconds or less. It is the association technique, the mirroring technique, and psychological reciprocity. And Gabe was using this association technique many, many times. He also discovered the client's want need and dbm what is what's going on he got the client to talk about it right the dbm very important he discovered that and he also made the client curious right so it's important for you to deploy these things now what are some of the questions that come up inside of the chat right now anybody else that want to come up and give a little talk about what you've seen today so far Please, this is your opportunity to come forward and to talk. Go ahead. Who would like to talk? Let's see if Chris is maybe willing to jump in because he said that his skill was at five. Mm -hmm. So if he's willing to talk with us, he can maybe tell us if he learned something. Yeah, just unmute, guys. If you'd like to come up here, I think you press a button and Benisa will let you come forward. So it's very important that you understand that the way for you to be more successful is for you to develop your skill set. And what you've just seen <clears throat> from our volunteer, Gabe, is phenomenal. And this is like, this guy just came up here and give it to you free of charge. He didn't even charge you $50 today just to get that, right? Because he loves you. And Gabe is here to help you to be successful, all of us. We want to grow in our business. And that's what we're here for. All right. So I see the box and the line. Anybody that wants to come up before I go into this role play, <clears throat> you have that opportunity. Now, who is going to be role playing with me? Is there someone that wants to do that? Uh, please come forward and I will be your realtor. And I'm going to basically be going through the same thing that you just saw. I've added, added a couple of people, but they don't want to talk to us, apparently. Oh, there's Chris. Come on, Chris. What you got, buddy? What do you you want to say something or you want to be volunteer? I've added Chris and Gail from the chat, and I've also added Jazz. Hey, Jazz, Jazz has been our client for a couple of years now, so just wondering if he would want to come up. Okay, cool. All right, so... Um, who wants to do the role play? If not, we can just end right here and I could go. We wouldn't want that. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Don't worry. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Atkinson, Paul, uh, PA, at, uh, say, Hotmail. This is uh, the lead that I'm calling. I call. And uh, that's about all the information you have. You know, sometimes you might be able to see what they're looking at on the lead, but you know, this. let's just work on, that is all we have. We have a first name, a last name, we have a phone number, and we have an email. How could you build rapport from that if that's all you have? Can you do that? All right, let's go into this. Who wants to be the role, who wants to be the client? And we will do it and wrap this up. I'm gonna show you how to get connected with someone just using their name, phone number, and email. Um, may I have a okay. volunteer? Gail? Hi, Gail. Yeah, okay. 
All right. Thank you so much. You always a pleasure. You are a stellar. I appreciate. Good to have you here again. So let's role play. And basically, what we want to do right now is when we have a lead in our CRM, and you're seeing on the screen a first name, a last name, just out there, right? We could even right. change the last name. How do you get use what you see to make a connection? So I'm going to um, I'm going to ring you, and I want you to pretend to be that name and that email and that phone number. Can you do that for us, Gail? Sure. All right. So here we go. You're a lead. And no matter what happens, I want you to tell me as much as you can, unless I convince you not to say it. I want you to say, I don't think I'm ready. You okay. Yes. <laughs> job is to say, I don't think I'm ready yet. My job is to convince you to take the next step forward. Is that okay? That sounds good. Wonderful. Okay. So let's go. You're now Paul Atkinson. Ready? Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Is this Paul? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Paul, good afternoon. My name is Paul Atkinson. Oh, my gosh. I'm, wow. Who are we same have name. Same, same. What in the world is going on? Well, maybe that's just a coincidence. But the reason I'm calling is I'm the best realtor right here in Canada. And I wanted to connect with you because I do see that you're on my side and there's a few prop properties that you've shown some interest with. Is this a good time to talk? Because I do have some valuable information that may be of value to you. Probably take five, ten minutes. Is that well, I've only got five minutes. So, okay, go ahead. Wonderful. So, Paul, thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. I see on the site here that your email is the AtkinsonPA at Hotmail.com. Is that correct? Hotmail? Correct. Wow. Okay. You know, Hotmail. I have a Hotmail account, too. So, it's another thing we have in common. That's great. You're looking for a single family home, townhome. What are you looking for inside of the community? Well, I'm looking to sell. Oh, okay. So let me update that. So you want to sell your property and you're here kind of browsing around to learn more how to sell that. Is that what you're trying to achieve? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Now, are you wanting to sell for this year or next year? What are you thinking that you'd like to do? I think it's by the end of this year. That's wonderful. And what would you like when you're looking to get this property sold? Paul, are you wanting to do this on your own or you're wanting to hire a professional? Well, I think I might be able to do better if I hire a professional. I think so, too, and I would agree with that. I know you said you had only five minutes, so I want to make sure that I answer your question. If you could ask a professional home seller right now one good question, what would that be for me today? What I would ask a seller or what you should be asking me? No, my question to you, Paul, is I understand you want to sell your home and you want to use a professional. I am a professional. If you wanted to ask one question today to a professional who sells a home, what would that one question be that you want? To how ask? much how much money can I get for my property? What's you the most money? That is wonderful. And I could answer that. And I look forward to answering that. I would definitely need to learn a lot more about the property. I can be at your home for a no obligation tour to see the kitchen, see the bathroom, see what it's like. But most important, Paul, I need to feel the property. It's going to help me to determine how to market it. I could be there tomorrow, Friday, or on Saturday. This uh, no, 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 no. I think you're just pushing it too quickly. I mean, I need to get my house ready. It needs to be yeah. do some renovations. I need to clean it before I would let anybody come in and see it. Understood. Tell me a little bit about the property. You wanting to know how much I could sell it for. Tell me a little bit more about it. If I can't. Well, it. it's a townhouse. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Um, it's about 20 years old. It's in a good neighborhood. Um, and it's a gated community. And uh, it's all ages. Pets are allowed. So it's actually good for anybody. It's not restricted to any particular type of a buyer. That's wonderful. We want to determine the highest price that you could get for the property. And I totally get it. What is the address? And I'll look things up and I could send you an email. Now, you're at Atkinson, PA, at Hotmail. I've confirmed that. 
what is the address for me to do the research and see what is happening there? Well, I'm not sure if I want to give you my exact address because I don't want you showing up at my door when I'm not prepared. <laughs> I would never do that. I am a professional, but I really appreciate that. So what would you like to achieve? And I don't want to get a hundred emails from everybody, you know, like sometimes no, you give an no. address and then all of a sudden you get all these advertisements and no, 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 no. mortgages and interest people and no, insurance no. people. Let's make a connection. I want to be connected with you. Okay. If you feel comfortable with me right now, I feel comfortable with you. I okay. want to help you as a professional that you say you're wanting to have to determine the highest price that you could get for that home. And I totally get it. You don't know me. It's not so bad. There's still room. Mm. Whoops. I, I don't know. We got company. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unwanted too. company. I know, beautiful. Let's continue to roll. You're doing great, uh, by the way, Gail. Thank you so much. So I totally get it. And keep objecting if you want to, but when you feel like you want to loosen up, you can, Gail. Go right ahead. So well, right now, I know people run comps, but this particular um, community, we don't have a lot of comps because a lot of people kind of stay here and live here for years and years. So how would you figure out what my house would be worth? Well, you know what? I totally get it. And I've been in the situation before. I've been a realtor for many years. And when we have a situation like this, where you have a very unique product, is what I call it, a unique yes, product. Yes, it is product. unique. There we go. I need to see it. I need to feel it. And we don't know. Getting your email will allow me to determine what the value is in a range, approximate range. And I'll send you that. I'm not going to be sending you a bunch of unwanted emails i'm giving you what you're asking for today and that is it well you know i'm a, I'm a little concerned uh, maybe i'm not just ready yet i mean i still have a lot that i want to do to the house to make it more marketable so maybe in about a month from now we could continue this conversation maybe but i, I don't know i mean you're the first person i'm speaking to and I don't know if you would be the most qualified realtor for me. That's very right. And how could you find that out? How would you be able to find out if I'm the most qualified? Well, I guess I'd have to talk to other realtors, but I haven't really done that yet. I was just starting to inquire, just kind of, this is like my beginning stages of looking for a realtor. I understand. Talk to other realtors. And what else? Do you, would you also- Commission? You what is your com commission? What do you charge? How do you advertise? Uh, do you have professional pictures taken? Good. Um, Very good. Do you help me with staging? Very, um, good. Very good. And if I need to find another place to move to, how would that factor in? Isn't that wonderful? Look at all that you've just said. And what does that require? All that you've just said that you want from me requires me learning more about the property, which I don't even know the address. Right? True. <laughs> <laughs> so you could trust me okay paul you could trust me it's okay you want to learn what i'm going to do professionally right in your hands what you're wanting me to work with i will not be blasting it anywhere i am a true professional let's get connected and let's see what we could do to help you get the maximum price and there's no rush you're going to tell me when you want to put it on the market it's okay but first, let me help you determine the price. Okay. Well, how are you going to do that if, like, right now there's only, like, one other house on the market in my community? Oh, and... that's okay. I have my ways. And remember, you have a unique product. So, ideally, I really need to come and see the property. But if you're not comfortable yet and you want to do it some other time, that's fine. You just let oh. me know. Okay, maybe a month from now. That'll that give me a chance to clean it up and be prepared for your visit. That's so wonderful. In the meantime, what would you like me to do as your professional realtor? What would you like me to do in the next 30 days while I wait? Well, I will send you the address in an email. Wonderful. And then I, I want to I know how you're going to um, make my property stand out from other properties. That's how are you going to market it? How are you going to advertise it? Uh, are you going to take professional pictures? Are you going to help stage it? Um, what do you offer that other realtors don't offer possibly? I 
to offer. make me want to go with you above somebody else because everybody seems to be offering the same thing. Why would you? Why would I pick you? Well, because I've connected with you, and I am the best realtor right here in your community, and I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to send you an email. You're going to see all the detailed views about all, everything that I do, good negotiations, opening houses, uh, uh, marketing of the property, strategic marketing, social media, every single thing and more. But the most important thing, in my opinion, when you're selecting a professional realtor is to make sure you have a connection with that realtor and the to both of you can work together cohesively. Do you agree? Okay. So how are we connecting? What's That's our connection? Well, I, you know, first I feel good about you because we have the same name. I don't know. I feel good okay. about you. Do you? I don't know. I'm from uh, Brooklyn. Uh, How does oh, that help? Guess what? I'm you know from, anybody in Brooklyn? I'm from Brooklyn. What do you mean? I, oh, okay. That's cool. Yes. That's very interesting. You're not, you're not just pulling my legs, are you, Paul? No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, so the heavens are with us today. We have the same name. We're from Brooklyn. We have the same hot, you know, hotmail, Gmail type of email. That's a very good co coincidence for us today. So it's. I know you said you have five minutes, but I think you like me a little bit more than just what you're saying right now. And we have a connection. And I really like that about you. When are you able to talk again just to get some more information? Would it be next week, Wednesday or Thursday? What would be well, next? how about if you call me the first of the month? You got it. That's only two weeks away. I'll put it on my calendar and I will call you on the first of May. Okay. Sounds Thank good. Pleasure. Okay. All uh, right. I'll Have a good day. You. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Wonderful. Give Gail a clap right there. Good job, Gail. I appreciate that. And look at the amount of objections and pushback and pushback and pushback. And you have to have the tenacity of a bulldog to keep moving forward. All of this is done by practicing and relaxing and understanding that you're human, just as your opponent or your client. Whatever it is, the way you look at it is a client that wants information and that want to move forward and want to make the right decision. So you have to learn how to do that. Again, we want to thank you all. Any questions before we go? On the screen, you will see a QR code that you can use to get your road call more like what you've seen here. There's no obligation. Just get your camera and link that. If you do book a call on the calendar, please show up. Uh, if you don't want to book the call, don't book it. But if you do book it, do show up. Any questions before we go? Benisa, what's your takeaway on this? Anything that you'd like to say before we go? Anybody? Yes, we actually do have two questions. We have Wes asking, how do you build a connection when starting the conversation? You get that person to like you, to listen to you. And the way to do that is for you to associate with them in some kind of way. Uh, you educate them. Like you notice Gabe came up and he says, hey, I'm, he identified himself. And the prospect says, who is this? What? What is it about? And Gabe says, hey, I'm the realtor. You're on my side. And he kind of made a connection there and that allowed them to be in a safe place. So, you you know, you really should practice how to make connection with people. So how can you do that? When you leave this meeting today, wherever you're going in the supermarket or wherever you go, when you see people, look at what you know about them, their shoes, their shirt, their hat, their hair, and make a comment. Whoa, nice shoes. I've got that same one. Um, your hair is very nice, a lady. Oh, I've, I put my hair like that sometime. Make a connection. Find something you can associate with. All right? Hope that was helpful for you. Remember, you click on the QR code right there and set your road call, and we could discuss it for, further. Uh, the other question was, go ahead. Anissa. The other question is, when I say to my leads, you have registered on my website or are you searching for homes? The common reply I get is, I did it by mistake. How to respond to that? Oh, that's a wonderful thing. I don't think leading into you have registered on my site is a good thing. The way Gabe did it was very smooth. I would recommend avoiding that directly. Don't do it directly. What you could do if you want to do it is you say indirectly, oh, hi, Gail, 
This is Paul Atkinson, the best realtor right here in Toronto. And I'm just here to talk to you about your home needs. It will take about five minutes. I do thank you for being a registered user on my site. I'm delighted that you're using it. Is this a good time? So you have a way with your words. Don't be direct. Oh, don't say, oh, I see that you've registered. No, don't say that. Say something like, hey, listen, I'm such and such, and I'm the best person right here in the community, and I am grateful that you are using my site for your real estate needs. How can I answer? I just had a few questions. How I can help to move forward? That's it. But the biggest thing for you to do is to practice, practice, practice. Use the code that, that you see on the screen to get into a growth call, and there's no obligation. And anybody else? Any other questions? That is it for now, Paul. Wonderful. Well, thank you all very much for being here. And uh, as usual, Benisa, thank you so much. Agent Locator is phenomenal. I'm loving our new site. It looks amazing. <laughs> Say hello to everyone for me. And yeah. um, any questions for me before I go? No. See you on May 30th. All right. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, Gail. Thank Bye-bye. Thank all the volunteers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.